What's going on guys? Chris back with you with another review video. We got it right over here. Let's just jump right on into it because you're probably going to need this in a closet, washroom, garage, you name it. Let's get to it. Let's head on over and see what we got. And just like all my review videos and unboxing videos, it's always linked in the description box below the video, this exact link for this exact product. The company is JSVER, and this is a touch on and off LED light bar for, I mean, you can do under the counter of your kitchen, you can do in the closet. Most likely you're probably gonna need this in a closet type of an area washroom somewhere where you do not have light. I live actually in a modern home, so we do have recessed lighting in most of the areas, but the closets still do not have lights. So this is actually really cool. This is full blown LED light right there, as we can just see. Very awesome touch. All you do is just tap the side, lights up, very, very bright. And what's awesome as well is that if you wanted it dimmer, like let's say you're working in a dormitory, you know, and you're not trying to wake up your roommate, etc., it actually you hold it and it will actually dim. And then you just let go wherever you want it to dim and then it goes back up. And then so you can have it really, really bright or you can dim it all the way down so it's a little bit more mellow. Again, very mild and then on off. And then of course, hold it back in like this and then it'll go all the way back up to the max lighting. And again, just a very simple touch. I mean, you literally just tap that bad boy. Very cool. It does come with a holder mount here with 3M tape on the bottom. And so what you can do here is if you didn't want to use the tape, it, you could screw it in if you want. So it gives you a couple different options. And so if you have a China cabinet and you didn't want to use the 3M tape, totally up to you. You can either use the double stick 3M tape or you got a little screw right here. Go ahead and just pop that in and screws into wherever you need it. And then of course it is magnetic. These are two magnets right here and here. And then they would attach like that. Let me show you here as we're hanging it upside down. So you can use that in a china cabinet. You could use that in a closet, you name it. You could mount it vertical, horizontal, whatever you prefer. Absolutely awesome there. Does also come with a rechargeable cable here because it is battery powered. So you have a nice long cable as well, USB on one side and then the charging port on that side. And that's where you would connect the charging port right there. Other than that, it's very, very simple product, but very cool as well. Let me go ahead and show you guys right over here. Now again, this is a modern home, so I do have lights already under here. But let's say you have your laptop right here and you do not have under the counter lights, you would mount it right over here. Light would shine down, of course, office space, dark laundry rooms, etc. You could put it right over here, vertical, right here on the side wall, tap it, it would illuminate so you can see what you're doing. Dark closets, you guys get the idea here. Mount it right over here, vertical, horizontal, wherever you want, so it can shine right there. You could even do it right on top of the door, shining down on the shoes, etc. And for the technical specs here, we're going to go ahead and show you. It's a 250 lumen light. Color temperature is 4500 K plus minus symbol 10%. We have a rated voltage of 5 volt. Capacity battery inside the light is 1000 milliamp. Power is 5W to charge it and IP of IP20. So guys, overall, very cool, simple product, definitely nice. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna mount this yet, probably in my closet, my master bedroom closet there. But again, without blinding you guys, simple tap on, off, very cool. Again, look in the description box below the video, you're gonna find this exact same product linked below. I will see you guys on the next review. My name's Chris, bye-bye.